how many of you are sitting around wishing that you could win the lottery and, and, and you just dream about how to make your life better and everything will change? Well, hold on to that thought. I want to share with you today five money myths that I would say almost all of us probably have had at one time or another, or you may have them still. So let's go over them. And my goal for you is to really think about these and then change your mindset and understand that these are just myths. They're not the truth. And it's really going to change the trajectory of your money thoughts going forward and how you handle wealth and money. Winning the lottery, most of us think that money is going to solve all of our problems. And, and money can provide security and lots of opportunities. But do you remember reading about that couple that maybe won $6 million and within two years it was gone? Why is that? Or what about that person that's really depressed or unhappy? And they said, if, 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 only, if only I had more money, if only I had that better job. None of that is true. Money will not solve your problems. It does not bring happiness and it won't change your life dramatically because you are who you are. It's not going to bring relationships to you, not healthy ones anyway. It's not going to make you happy. Every, all of those things come from within. And if you have a bad relationship now, adding money to it's not going to make it any better. So remember that the money has no effect on changing you as a person. Only you can change you. How many people have you met that really don't have a lot and they're extremely happy? So money isn't what makes you happy. Oh, uh, How many of you believe that you need a high income to be able to build wealth? Once I get that job and I have more money, then I can start building my wealth. Did you know that wealth actually comes to us over time? Basically, people invest in different avenues that they've chosen. And then it comes in slowly and it comes in over time. A little bit invested over a long period of time can really make somebody wealthy. Now you also have to educate yourself and be very disciplined with your money, but anybody, anybody can build wealth. Well, a lot of people go into debt and going debt is bad. I was always told to pay everything off and then I could start saving money. Well, that's not true. Not all debt is created equal. Yes, if you have high interest charge cards and you're going out and spending money on going out to eat, and maybe taking vacations and things like that, yes, that is bad debt. But if you're using your debt to invest into real estate, for example, and that is something that's going to bring cash into you, an asset, then that debt is a good debt. So just remember, not all debt is bad. Investing is just for the wealthy. Only wealthy people can do that. Well, that too is not true. There are platforms out there and apps in all kinds of different ways that you can educate yourself to become an investor. Anybody can do it, but you have to educate yourself and you have to be responsible with the investments that you make. Are they all going to be great investments? No, that's part of learning. Just like you have to figure this life out, you have to figure out how to invest. But you are capable. You just have to educate yourself. And the last myth that I want to share is renting is throwing away your money. It's interesting how some people feel like if they own their home, they're wealthy, that they have this asset. Owning a home is actually a liability. And I just talked about that actually in the last video that I made. Renting, however, is not a bad thing. There are some people that renting is better for them. It's better for their situation. They don't want to have to be responsible with property taxes, a mortgage payment, cost of maintenance, and all those things. Because there are a lot of expenses that can build up. Remember, owning a home is a liability. You have to pour money into it. So some people just do better if they know they have that one payment, they're renting, and they have no commitment to that to that piece of property. It's not a bad thing to rent. You're really not throwing your money away if that's the right situation for you. I have a link below of a book that talks about 10 different myths about money. And I highly recommend that you get it because it's really going to change your mindset. And for you to go forward and start investing and building wealth, you really have to change your mindset about money. You have a blessed day and I'll see you on the next video.